Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone, season 2, episode number 3. Okay, the previous episode, um, they kind of infiltrated Sukasa's territory by like sneaking in that telephone thing that they like made. And we also saw Taiju and Yuzuriha. But there was a little bit of complication regarding all of that because obviously like uh, the like I don't know his name but the guy who uses like uh, bow and arrow uh, he seemed to be suspicious about a few things like he was all like almost going to like catch uh, Gen and like uh, magma all of them but somehow they were able to like get like uh, like sneak out of that place but I don't know like he is definitely going to keep an eye out on that place so i'm not sure well like will yuziriha and taiju be able to pull the whole uh thing of like communicating secretly uh well because obviously like he's going to keep an out uh, like eye out on that place so it will be a little bit tricky but obviously because it is kind of like the grave for senku uh like he won't probably be suspicious of them like talking in front of a grave so let's just see like what happens like if they're like if he like really is suspicious about that whole situation or not and also uh like homura also kind of got captured and i'm not sure what they're going to do with her because obviously like she needs like she, she must be like uh, giving like occasional reports to sukasa's place so if somehow Sukasa doesn't like hear from her, he might get suspicious. So I'm not sure how, what like what Senku is going to do about that. So let's see, let's see what this episode brings. So yeah, guys, um, without further ado, uh, let's get started with Doctor Stone season two, episode number three. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the time you're here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, are these the Sukasa Empire Army? Yeah. Oh, Taiji and Yuzuriha. We can. S oh, there's this one lady who's keeping an eye on out, out on them. All right. Okay. Is someone? Yeah, she's spying on them. Oh boy. Now this is what I was really like. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Did they? Okay, they're real. Oh, no. Yeah. Just keep it there. Oh, what's he going to do now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's going to, she's going to find it out. Oh no, she's going to find out. What the hell? Okay, so this was what was happening in the previous episode. We did not see the whole thing, but oh no, like she's watching. Behind you, Taiju. Oh, but she might mistake this whole thing about... About them like crying for the dead. Okay. Yeah, I think this might go okay. Oh boy, he's so happy.
Okay, he might pull it off. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you're not thank you, you're Taiju. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so this might go okay. Like, like it's seeming like it's seeming that he is just going there and crying for Senku, and yeah, like unless and until someone goes like at their face and like watches them, like they will be okay. But it's just a matter of time. I think they might get find out sooner or later. But by that time, I'm guessing like Senku would like make an another plan or something. Okay, this like uh, scene I really did not understand before. Now I understand. Gen is going to do the like singing, like she like because he is impersonating Lillian's voice. So like I was thinking like why is like uh like Gen singing? Then I kind of got that oh maybe he like obviously he is going to impersonate Lillian's voice, so he has to sing. So <laughs> okay. Or maybe not, maybe, oh no, they're going to, okay, let's just not assume stuff watching at the opening. <laughs> yep. He, <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll make some like I don't know, like oh he's she's been suspicious now. Oh boy. There's someone away from... Wait, what? Oh! Nah, he's fine. He knows what Senku's doing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're like, wow. Yeah, the trust. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they had to like run out of the place quickly. Okay, Senku is kind of being. Yeah. Okay. Damn, like. 
they're in hiding now <laughs> yeah well because you are infiltrating the enemy territory no Uh, Ukyo, okay. Yeah. Yeah, more sounds will come out. Exactly. Oh, oh boy. Um, bait strategy, decoy strategy. Oh, oh, <laughs> this is even better. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Is he going to make some kind of flashbang or something? Oh, smoke screen. What? Oh. Um, magma. You didn't need to do that, but still, like it helps. But they will get caught. Yeah, okay, so that is what they're trying to do. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I think they'll get caught, won't they? Oh. Oh, they're going to bring her to their side. All right. Okay, so they know her. Obviously, because she is the guard. <laughs> Clock spring. Okay. Okay, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, oh no. Okay, he's here, yep. <laughs> but the others are in a bit of a pickle Nikki uh. um Oh! Oh! Okay, 
well this is taiju he is strong like his defense power is <laughs> yeah he's a defensive guy so <laughs> Damn. Okay, you better hear them out after like punching him so much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wait wait she knows oh boy Sebastian <laughs> yeah Okay, don't laugh, Taiju. Oh, he's not laughing. <laughs> Taiju is like making this more authentic. Good job, Taiju. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Okay, will that fly? Oh, wait, is this a backstory? Oh, okay. Okay, it was fortunate she listened to Lillian. Oh, we saw her in season one, like a kind of a little, like, Bit. Oh my god. I'll <laughs> I'll kill him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, will they be able to do this? <laughs> yeah, she's a big fangirl. Like she's one of the genuine like people. Yeah. <laughs> no, that won't go. No, that won't do well. Hmm. Mm. Is there any other fourth option? Oh, okay, yeah, that's another option. My God. Um, what's happening here? Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, you need more. Oh boy, another number, another number. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Wait, that, that's difficult. Wait. 
Oh. <laughs> He's going to calculate it like that. My God. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, like she ate a little bit more, but yeah, like uh, yeah, she got a little bit fat. That's understandable. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> okay, it's working, I'm guessing. All right. Okay, the sound quality is pretty good. Like, Wait, won't she recognize that this is a song, like recorded song because of that? Yeah, she knows. Like I was thinking, like her being so much of a fan would easily recognize. Yeah. Okay, let's. Yeah, like. Yeah, like you need the real like thing, but. That this one thing like one like recording yeah will be like kept perfectly and would be like like more what can i say like can be like <laughs> yeah like he did not even think about like bullshitting his way through Okay, what was her name? I forgot. Nikki, Nikki, okay. Oh, damn. Okay, first ally. From Sukasa's team. Haha, <laughs> Nikki the guard has joined the party. Alright, okay, that was good. Like, uh, like, I was thinking, like, obviously we did not know before this that Nikki is such big of a fangirl. But obviously, whenever, like, stuff like this comes into, like, the question, like, for example, uh, someone who was, like, listen to the song so many times she would easily be able to like tell the difference about like like a real person singing a song or it being recorded 
previously so like whenever the, like just as we like saw that yeah this girl is the real deal like i kind of thought that they might not be able to pull this off because uh like it's pretty difficult to like trick a person who is genuinely like in love with the like set person's songs so who is genuinely a big fan if this was someone else like who had like no idea about Lillian or something like that or maybe heard about her uh like uh and not was not a fan if, if it was something like that someone like that they would be able to trick him quite quite easily but you're talking with a real deal here so it won't be able to easy to fake the whole thing so obviously like she got it like that so easily after hearing it but just because she was like so big of a fan it kind of acted for their advantage as well okay let me just okay here's the end all right so yeah as i was saying so like the problem was created because she was a big fan like she caught the whole thing but also uh, the solution also came because she was a big so so much of a big fan the solution being she was genuinely wanting uh, like to preserve this only one record of Lillian and uh, that came as a blessing in disguise and she being the genuine fan she really wanted like <coughs> the, the single like record to survive at all costs but obviously if Senku is Senku and their team is able to like come out victorious uh, that would like that wish will come true so yeah he like she uh, like her interest and co Senku's interests coincided and that's how like they were able to like make her join their team so like kind of acted in their own like in their favor now like obviously uh, Senku's uh, plan here is to make a lot of people like deflect to their like team by using this Lillian's record and voice but obviously the first person was a big fan so she kind of caught the whole thing which I doubt will repeat unless and until another like like big fanboy or a fangirl of Lillian is here like uh, like if she like if there's someone else like that then this problem will again come out but obviously if someone like none of uh, the people knows about Lillian or at least they are not so much of a big fan of her then obviously she, like Senku would able to like carry out his plan like he intended to like uh, use Gen as the uh, like mimicker of uh, Lillian's voice and then like play the song in the recorded like uh, like in the record and that way i'm sure a lot of people as they kind of like made the plan a lot of people will think that ah like uh, one of the country has been able to like come out of this whole petrification and just look at them they're having like an amazing uh, like the, like time because obviously <coughs> they are like unpetrified they're getting all the modern like benefits like the civilization is starting to build up again so instead of like rotting in this place with nothing like with like stone sticks and like uh, like hot weather uh, bad living conditions let's just like go to their like place and deflect to the like to the team which has better scientific things uh, for our own comfort so a lot of people will think in this way and kind of like switch out that team which this is what Senku intends to do. I'm not sure how this plan will go, but I'm sure a lot of people will fall for this trick. But the question is, um, like, when they get to know that this is a like a fake thing, and they were tricked, how will they react? Um, uh, okay, so yeah, that was also kind of answered. Like, they will like start to hate Sukasa, uh, not Sukasa, um, Senku um, again and chrome so they will kind of be labeled as the bad guys and they also kind of talked about that in the previous episode as well so yeah like they will able to win the like whole war but they like their own reputation will be in like shambles and i don't know like what they're going to be able to do for like about that 
let's just see <clears throat> and all right so uh, i have to say that was a lot easier than i like expected like them gaining uh, a new ally so quickly like thankfully the person who was the guard was such a big fan of lillian so like she was kind of like uh persuaded so easily by using lillian's um record so yeah this won't be so easy after this like obviously the whole uh that guy i forgot his, his name the guy who was like using the bow and arrow like he is a big threat in itself like like he can like hear stuff from so long away so i think the only way to counteract him is like go close and personal to him just like go in a short range and just ap apprehend him like, that's the only way to stop him uh, otherwise she will like pick you off one by one from a range from a distance and that's extremely like uh, dangerous so and also like chrome and magma is kind of stuck in this whole situation like they kind of acted as a decoy so i'm sure like they're still like running around trying to avoid the arrows so yeah like you need to make this plan succeed as quick as possible and just go <laughs> and save them obviously like otherwise it will be a big <laughs> problem for them and all right that and what else mm. Um, surprisingly that was the only thing that was in this episode nothing much of importance was in this episode and the whole thing with Nikki was the only thing and other than that um, yeah there's nothing else okay wow that, that was really short I have to say like, there's barely anything to talk about in this uh, episode. Um, the only uh, invention that they did here was that coil, like that copper coil. Um, that was all the only invention, uh, the new invention. And um, that kind of like um, increases the sound quality of the recorded uh, song. And yeah, that's it. And okay, and also another thing I was like saying this before, uh, which was <clears throat> that I was thinking maybe like uh, Gen is going to sing, but obviously I made a big mistake here because obviously that Gen is not a singer, so like how like why will he ever even sing? Like I I was kind of like uh, watching the like opening and seeing that Gen was kind of like uh, doing stuff like this using that telephone like uh, thing, whatever that uh, piece and she was kind of like he was like kind of moving his head like this and that i kind of thought maybe she's going to sing but obviously i think that is not possible because ken himself is a not sing is not a singer and is i think it's probably impossible to mimic a person's voice and sing at the same time like i think that's quite impossible so i doubt ken is going to sing like but i was kind of looking forward to that i don't know why but anyways uh i think uh like the plan is going to go this way like again it's only going to talk to them and like when like the singing portion is going to come they're just going to play the record and obviously uh, the people will think that oh like yeah the, um, like uh, america is uh like out from the stone and um that means like the civilizations are going to come back soon so it will kind of make this uh, like make a false impression like this and they're going to like get lured out of like Sukasa's like empire and they're going to like go to try to go to Senku's like team to find out what the actual hell is happening and <clears throat> yeah and but this thing the, this uh, trick that they're trying to do won't work well with the other people like for example the arrows guy and the other people who are i think a lot more important like for example sukasa and uh what was his name Hyo yoga yeah yoga wasn't it the the name of the guy like him and a few other i think the main uh, people of the sukasa's team uh, i'm sure like they won't be so easily tricked 
because I think like they have a more of a bigger reason to join Sukasa's team. So I'm not sure like what how they will react if they hear this whole situation and like listen to this. They might even like uh, be suspicious of the whole thing and might like go and report to Sukasa. And if by somehow by any chance like Sukasa gets to know that yeah stuff like this is happening inside my empire oh boy he is going to like <coughs> send his army to Senku's like uh, hideout and that will be the end so before that happens they need to like uh, <coughs> make a lot of people join their team and get ready for like kind of like overthrowing Sukasa from his throne and uh, like from the inside and obviously like there is like a big <clears throat> like, unity is like the best solution here like the strength in numbers as they say so even though like a lot of people <laughs> like in Tsukasa's team are kind of like the you know uh, mob characters in an anime like they are basically like as cannon fodders used as cannon fodders uh, because uh, most of them are kind of like that like side characters I doubt they will be of any help to standing up against Tsukasa but still like unity in numbers as they say so uh, like as soon as these people like deflect from Tsukasa's team Tsukasa's like power will be a lot reduced but obviously the main people will still be there for example all of the like uh, named characters that is like that bow and arrow guy uh, yoga and uh, I think there were a few others as well so they are a lot more loyal to Tsukasa than these guys so they will be a problem and yeah like i don't know how this is going to go but i think uh one thing i kind of like i don't know like i think one of the more like one of the bigger reasons for so many people to be in sukasa's team is because uh, a lot of them don't even know like what senku is capable of like this is just my theory i think that a lot of people don't even know that senku is such a capable person who can like bring back the science and like the comfort of the modern society so like they are just going with sukasa just for the sake of it just because he is the strongest here they're just going along so i think like if uh like even like if some of like a lot of the people from sukasa's team would like like would deflect and we would like uh, run away from his team if they get to know like what Senku is capable of and just as soon as like they get to know that yeah like Senku is such a brilliant inventor brilliant uh, like scientist like they will be lured in with the like comfort of the modern society and leave Sukasa's team just like that so I think uh, a lot of people are kind of in the dark that doesn't even know that uh, Senku, uh, like what Senku is capable of. So uh, a lot of people are like going along with Sukasa's, like uh, whatever Sukasa is doing. So yeah, I think that's also another reason. I at least I think so because obviously uh, I doubt there is any people who would be able to um, keep off the temptations of the modern like society, uh, the comfort that the modern society provides. For example, uh, ramen. Yeah. <laughs> like food is a big thing like like i don't know like if <laughs> like i don't know what the hell sukasa is like feeding his people but i doubt that's ram like he's feeding his people ramen so <laughs> i'm sure like if somehow they get to know that uh like sukasa's team is like f feeding them uh i don't know what fruits i guess fruits and like hunted thing like hunted uh animals like roasting them stuff like that Maybe they're like feeding them that but if like the, those people get to know that ah like in that place they're like making ramen each and every day i'm sure half of the people will just run and like say that yeah goodbye sukasa like i'm going to have my ramen and like they're going to deflect just like that because food is a big thing like, if, like food um is an extremely big thing and a lot of people are kind of lured in by food uh, similar with Homura, Homura was kind of lured in by the whole ca cotton candy like uh, before. So, <laughs> yeah, food works. Food is a big thing. Uh, food is nothing to be 
like underestimated like food is a big uh, weapon <laughs> and as a good like is a pretty like non-violent way uh, to like lure in people <laughs> so yeah uh, oh my god just think like thinking about it like yeah I'm sure a lot of people will deflect from Tsukasa's team if they get to know like what Senku is capable of doing so let's see let's see what happens uh, like, like how this is going to play out so yeah guys um that was it that was uh dr stone um season two episode number three so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to discuss about this episode anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys uh, i'll be back with another episode of dr stone season two next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day